Imagine that you're suffering from a deadly disease, but the cure is sitting on the pharmacy shelf and no one knows it. Then an AI algorithm discovers your cure and saves your life. Quite obviously, just want to stay alive. I want to be around to see my daughter grow and uh, to grow old with my wife. So I'll do everything I can to help me with that goal. This is Al's story. In terms of when I first met him uh, as a patient, um, that was in October of 2020 during the height of the COVID pandemic when he um, presented to emergency with abdominal pain and uh, fever. And at that time, of course, our first concern with anyone presenting with any unusual symptoms, especially with fever, was whether it might be related to COVID. But it was worse than COVID. It was Castleman disease. Castleman's is a devastating disorder where your immune system attacks and then shuts down your vital organs for an unknown cause. Patients will gain over 70 pounds of fluid and experience knife-like pain from all the fluid accumulation. Yeah, so I went from, I would say, a relatively healthy guy who was on no medications, uh, and then within, I would say, a week, I started developing severe swelling, severe fevers, my abdomen became quite distended for really, you know, no reason at all. And later I, I found out it was fluid. Once we knew what the problem was, then we knew he, we needed to treat him right away. And so I think sometimes with rare diseases, we can be a little bit hesitant to start treatment because, uh, you know, if, if it's not something that you've done before or seen before, uh, it can take some time to figure out um, how you want to treat the person. Al's doctors put him on the only FDA-approved therapy for Castleman disease, a drug called siltuximab. Unfortunately, the benefit did not last long. Put him into remission for about a month. Uh, he went home, he was feeling much better. But then six or seven weeks later, he had a relapse. So unfortunately, the last uh, two and a half years have been periods of treatments, remissions, and relapse. Realistically, we knew that we had very few options left and I had, I had consulted the palliative care team and they had seen him at home and he has a young family and he had prepared his family for um, every possibility. So they just want to stay alive. They want to be around uh, to see you know, my, my daughter grow and uh, to grow old with my wife. So I'll, I'll, I'll do everything I can to, to help me with that goal. They were out of options. But maybe there was a drug that hadn't been tried yet that could work for him. A few years ago, we decided to go on a mission to try to find drugs that could be repurposed to treat Castleman disease. So the first thing we did is that we collect blood samples from Castleman's patients all over the world. We measured over 1,000 proteins in each one of those samples and used the power of artificial intelligence to find specific patient subgroups that could respond to existing medicines. One of those drugs that we discovered is a drug called adalimumab. It targets a protein called TNF that's important to your immune system. And based on this work, we believe that maybe adalimumab could be a treatment for Castleman disease patients. So when I got a call from Luke Chen just a few months ago saying, David, Al is on his last legs. We're not sure what to do. I was able to direct him to this study that we had published using artificial intelligence to point to TNF as a potential treatment approach. It worked. Uh, he, he got better. It was rather quickly uh, the response uh, of, the, of the treatment. And he went home and uh, he's been much better since then on the Adelina Labs. We want to repeat what we did for Al and we've done for so many other patients by expanding our approach across all diseases. We launched Every Cure, a nonprofit organization on a mission to unlock the full potential of each and every drug to treat each and every disease possible. There are 3,000 drugs and there are 12,000 human diseases, so there are 36 million possible combinations of drugs for specific diseases. And amazingly, the top priority drug for Castleman disease is adalimumab, the exact same drug that we discovered in the laboratory. And what's so exciting is that we can look across the other 35 million scores for other diseases to find other promising hits to treat other patients just like Al. We just don't have the time or the resources or the numbers to wait. And sometimes we need to take the best available translational science that we have and try and find medications and drugs that are already on the shelf. I hope that people understand this. They support this in any way they can. We need your help 
save patients just like Al. Please consider donating funding, data, and services towards our mission so that no patient is told we've tried everything and there's a life-saving cure on the pharmacy shelf.